Hey gang, I'm in the Soul EV, the electric version of the Soul, and I'm here in California where Kia flew me down to test drive this brand new electric vehicle. Is it better than the e-Golf? Is it as good as the BMW i3? Well, we're going to find out coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. $36,000. That's a lot of money for an electric car. But keep in mind that there are all sorts of federal and local tax credits. I believe federally it's $7,500. And depending on what state you live in, then you also get a reduction in price. Now, if you do want this particular electric vehicle and you do live in California, chances are it's going to be hard to get because this morning the Kia guy said that there isn't going to be enough supply even for California. Alright guys, first time behind the wheel of the Soul EV. And of course, EV stands for electric vehicle. So if you listen, you're not going to hear a lot because there's no gasoline engine under the heart of this beast. Let's look under the hood and let's talk numbers. Twenty-four hours. That's how long it takes to recharge this car when the battery is dead, when you plug it into the wall. Four hours. That's how long it takes if you plug it into your dryer, power outlet, and of course, 30 minutes. If you're lucky enough to have a DC level three charger, 30 minutes to get to 80% charge. Except those DC chargers are really hard to find in America. And the great thing about electric motors is that they have instantaneous torque. Uh, that's floored. I'm gonna go a uh, meh on that one. Usually there's a rush of power, now there's just a rush of wind. Anyway, that's neither here nor there because most people use these cars for commuting and this is a good car to commute because I think the Tesla is probably the only other electric car that has a higher range. Kia says 93 miles on a full charge which is uh, almost to that magical 100 number. Now, according to Monroney, this particular car that I am in gets 105 MPGE, the equivalent of MPG, of course, and costs just over $36,000. Now, keep in mind there are all sorts of local state rebates, but you can only get this in one state, and that's the rub. Initially, it'll only be available here in California, so if you live in Michigan, you're out of luck eventually. It's going to go to the states that are around the coast because those states conform to California standards for emissions. But for now, unless you live in California, you're not going to be able to purchase this car. Which is a shame because uh, electric vehicles have their place in the world. And unfortunately, that world doesn't encompass places that are cold. And the reason for that is because batteries aren't happy where it gets cold. For instance, in this car, the batteries aren't heated or cooled. So if you were to drive in a place like Colorado where we're from, it's gonna lose a significant amount of charge due to the cold weather. So you're not gonna get 93 miles, you're gonna get a lot less. And that's one of the reasons that manufacturers don't bring the cars to the rest of the country. Of course, the other reason is that there isn't much of an infrastructure. So unless you uh, are willing to wait 24 hours when you plug it at home, you're gonna have to make do with the public charging stations. Now that's what Kia says. I completely disagree. Having driven a lot of electric cars, including the Leaf, the Tesla, the 500e, the Focus Electric, oh, and the Smart e, I know that in Colorado we have plenty of electric charging stations. It's just that the manufacturers aren't ready to jump in with both feet, except for Tesla, Nissan, and of course BMW with the new i3. Anyway, let's get back to the Soul. Pretty much it's 
as good as a regular sole, and in some ways it's even better. It's got a lower center of gravity because the batteries are down low. It has all the usefulness of a regular sole. The batteries don't take up a lot more space. It doesn't need to be fueled up traditionally at a gas station. It drives really well. It's got low rolling resistance tires and that means that they're not as rough on the ride as regular tires. And for the most part, when you're driving an electric vehicle like I am right now, it's a pleasure. It's very quiet. When you let off the accelerator, there's regenerative braking up to 12% according to Kia that takes place, that puts power back in the batteries. And once you get used to this kind of instantaneous torque, it's hard to live without it. Having said that, of course, there is range anxiety. So you know, if you're gonna drive it more than, according to Kia, 93 miles and you run out of juice, you ain't gonna find a local gas station to fill it up in. You're gonna have to go find an electric charging station. And then you're gonna have to wait, depending on what level it is, for this thing to completely recharge. If you plug it in at home, that's 24 hours, which is frankly quite a bit. So, bottom line on the Kia Soul EV. And the fact is that there are really only a handful of cars you can buy in all 50 states, and that includes the Nissan Leaf and of course the Tesla. And I have to think that until manufacturers get serious about selling cars not just in California, but in all 50 states, electric cars, then these are just going to be cars for early adapters and people who want the unique ability to not use any fossil fuels, at least when driving the car. But until we can get these cars in Colorado, where it gets cold and batteries don't work so well, and until you can buy them in the rest of America, this is going to be a sideline that will need a little bit of government help in terms of rebates and refunds to actually be the car of the future.